I'm not gonna waste your time. Here's a no BS guide on the habit that makes you ugly. The first habit is having the belief that you're quote unquote ugly. Here's a picture from when I was 18 years old, and here is me now. When I was young, I considered myself an ugly guy. I was doing all the good habits, but I didn't stay consistent with it. I'll do it for a week or two, because I watched a motivational video, and after the motivation is gone, I'll give up and binge watch Stranger Things while eating a pack of Cheetos. I didn't know what was stopping me from looking better, but after going through tough times, I realized that I'm not ugly. No one is. Instead of saying I'm ugly, I started saying I'm not disciplined enough to do the habits that will make me attractive. If I eat junk food every day, get a bad night of sleep, and jerk off two times, what do you expect? Do you expect me to be a healthy and attractive human being? Of course not. I always hear the cringe term, just believe in yourself, king, but it's actually true in this case. After removing this limiting belief that I'm ugly and no one loves me, and started behaving like someone who is attractive, I started doing the good habits naturally. This isn't like the BS videos that you watched before, so make sure to watch it till the end and your life will change forever. The second habit is not having enough sun exposure. All of us know that the sun has vitamin D in it and vitamin D makes you more healthy, reset the clock of your body so you'll sleep better, which will make you more attractive. But you need to wear sunscreen so you'll get all the benefits from it. I started implementing the habit of walking 15k steps a day and it changed my life. Here are the benefits that I noticed. Walking clears my mind, makes me more attractive, wakes me up, gets me away from distractions, acts as a creative block in my day, keeps me lean, keeps me healthy, making more connections with people, improve my sleep, and the list still going. Here's an actionable step for you to do. Go for a walk for five minutes after this video with no phone, just you and your thoughts, and you'll thank me later. The third habit is a poor diet. A car will not start if you put water in it instead of fuel. If we apply the same concept to humans, your body will not work properly. Even worse, it will not work at all if you consume high sugar or processed foods. Not only will you feel sluggish during the day, but it also can cause acne breakouts and make you age faster. I didn't say to cut out sugary food completely, completely from your life. I try to be mindful while doing it and raise my hand and say, yes, I'm gonna cheat on my diet today and I'm gonna enjoy every second of it. I try to cheat on my diet for five to 10 times a year. That's it. When I go on a family trip like I did last week with my friends, I eat something sugary or processed food when it's part of the experience. Don't waste that opportunity. But here's the thing that you should never ever do. Don't eat high sugar or processed foods alone or when you're bored in your house after school. Here's what I used to do after returning from school. I'll sit in my bed that has stains of cum on it from yesterday yesterday and I start watching KSI and eat shit food until I'll pass out and go to bed and I wonder why I wake up groggy with no energy. This should terrify the F out of you bro. I can't imagine myself doing that again in my life. The fourth habit is not being polite and respectful. Start by saying please and thank you more to people. Smile at them and compliment their new shoes that they got. Avoid checking your phone mid conversations. I used to always check my phone when my mother was talking to me. She is the woman that gave birth to me. She's the woman that loves me before I was even freaking born and here I'm wearing about a girl not texting me back. That's so sad, bro. And what helped me to stop checking my phone so much is turning my screen black and white and daily meditation. It kept me present when talking to people. So I try meditating for at least five minutes every day for the rest of my life. When someone is talking to me and I get a phone call, I'll hang up the phone and say, sorry for that, you can continue. And I can see their eyes became filled with happiness and joy because I treat others how I want to be treated. Here is an actionable step to do. Go hug your mother and say that you love her so much. I know it's uncomfortable, but trust me, it's gonna make her week not even day. The fifth habit is not having a self-care routine. If you don't have the self-care routine, you should start doing it ASAP. I'm not going to tell you what to do because you already know what to do. But if you're new to this space, I made so many self-care videos on my channel. I talked in details on how to develop a self-care routine. You can go watch them after this video. The sixth habit, not sleeping eight hours a night. I think you should ignore what I said for the whole video and start sleeping eight hours a night and you'll become more attractive naturally. I got a question on my Discord on how to remove dark circles. And I think I'm the perfect guy to help because here's me when I was 18 years old and here's me now with no dark circles. I just sleep eight hours a day and not using so much screen time because it will make my eyes tired. But Aziz, how can I get good sleep, bro? Here is no BS way to have good sleep. First, go to bed and wake up at the same time no matter what time you slept. Second, make your room cold and dark. Third, don't use your phone one hour before bed. Fourth, read a book until it falls out of your hand and voila, you'll sleep like a baby. The seventh habit is having high stress. Everything bad that happens to you is caused by stress. That's why most people indulge in bad habits and get in relationships that they don't need. The number one thing that causes breakouts is high stress. So here's a breathing exercise that you can do to reduce stress now. You need to breathe in as deep as you can, but don't breathe out now. Have another breath at the top, then breathe out. Here's a demonstration of it. 